So today I'd like to show you how to make asparagus and sun-dried tomato risotto. We're going to make this as a vegetarian risotto so we're going to use uh, vegetable stock instead of chicken stock and we're going to use uh, a vegetarian friendly hard cheese in place of parmesan cheese. So on the table are our ingredients so let's walk you through them. We've got 300 grams of aborio rice, we've got 85 grams of white onion that we're going to finally chop up, we've got 350 grams of fresh asparagus and I want you to take a second just to talk about asparagus. Uh, they do vary in thickness um, and um, length and it's a little bit hard sometimes to try and buy them but I want to give you a few tips. First off you want to find asparagus that isn't too dry at the ends and you'd ideally like to have the fond of the asparagus, the spear of the asparagus all nice and closed up because when it starts to open that is a sign that the asparagus is going to seed and past its best. And we're going to cut some of this asparagus off and uh, because it, it's woody towards the end of the asparagus but we're going to get some flavour out of that and flavour our stock with those asparagus ends. We've got 1200 uh, millilitres of vegetable stock, we've got 125 millilitres of white wine, we've got 45 grams of unsalted butter, we're going to use 75 grams of this Marianne's Dairy Italian Hard Cheese which is uh, certified as uh, vegetarian. We've got 85 grams of sun-dried tomato halves. We've got 9 grams of fresh fennel leaves. We've got 1 tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and we're also going to add a few pea shoots. Pea shoots, if you like the flavour of uh, pea pods then you'll love the flavour of pea shoots if you haven't tried them. Uh, you do see them in the supermarkets in the late spring, early summer and they make a great addition to lots of dishes including a risotto like this. So we want to try to make all the asparagus spears the same length. So that's our starting point so we're going to trim these off. Um, we want to keep one as a measure Okay, so the, approximately the asparagus is are all the same size. We're just going to chop these up into smaller pieces and we're going to put this, these pieces into the stock, into our vegetable stock as we heat it up so we get some additional asparagus flavour into our stock. So we want to par cook the asparagus so we're going to blanch it for about three minutes in this boiling salted water and when we talk about blanching you're talking about the timing from when it comes back to the boil. You also need to be aware of is if some of the spears are, are thinner then they won't need quite as much cooking. So these have all had about two and a half minutes so we're going to take just a couple of them the thinner spears and start cooling them down and give the others another 30 seconds. So we'll get this under cold water to cool it down nice and fast. The thicker spears have all had about three and a half minutes so we're going to take them out and we want to cool them down in under cold water as quickly as possible to keep them nice and green. So we're just going to roughly chop our fennel leaf. Don't worry if you can't get fennel leaf but if you see it in your supermarket or your local garden centre or farm shop it will add a really nice counterpoint to the other flavours. I'm just going to chop it up just very lightly that's sufficient right there. And put that into back into the dish and then the next thing we want to do is we're going to cut the sun-dried tomatoes they're nice large halves 
we want to cut them into slightly smaller pieces. So let's take one of those. Let's see, you can see they're really nice big sizes. So I think we want to cut this into about four pieces. You don't want it too small. Because you want to be able to see it in the risotto. And we'll just put those back into the ramekin till we need them. So now we're going to cut our 85 grams of white onion up finely. So if you're not familiar with the best way to do that, it is to make slices downwards, but not going all the way through to the root. And then you want to make slices this way in a horizontal fashion, about three slices that way. Move that back out of the way so you can see, and then we're just going to come down to create finely diced onion. And when you get towards the end, you just want to go back in both directions. Make sure that all of the onion, including the root, gets chopped up. So next we're going to grate up our cheese. We want to grate 75 grams of the uh, vegetarian Italian hard cheese. And because it's not quite as dry as you might find in Parmesan cheese, I suggest you use the, the coarse side of the grater. We're just going to grate this up. And we will put the cheese in towards the end of making the risotto. We're also going to take a speed peeler and we're going to make some nice long curls that we'll decorate the risotto with as well. So we've taken the eight best uh, asparagus spears that we're going to use to decorate each risotto plate with but we still want it to be shorter than it is so we're going to trim it down to about eight or nine centimeters so about there and the rest of the trim we're just going to cut into pieces about one and a half centimeters long and we're going to trim all of the rest of the asparagus up the same size and this asparagus will get stirred into the risotto towards the end of the making. So now we're ready to start making the risotto. So we're going to put our butter into our heavy bottom stainless steel saucepan. And we want to allow that to melt completely on a medium heat. Before we add our onions. So you can see the butter is completely melted now. So now we can add our finely diced onions. And we want to cook the onions until the onions are translucent on a medium heat. But we don't want any colour in the onions. So the onions have been cooking out for a couple of minutes. I need to stir them from time to time to make sure they're not burning. Remember we're looking for the onions to be translucent. They probably need about one more minute and we're there. On the back of the stove I've got my vegetable stock getting hot ready to ladle it in. Okay, so you can see how translucent the onions are now. We're going to add our aborio rice. And as soon as we add our rice, we want to again stir it and make sure that the rice gets completely covered with the butter. And we want to cook this out for one or two minutes just to make sure that the butter is fully coating the aborio rice. So our aborio rice has been coated with the butter for two minutes now. We're now ready to add our white wine. Remember we have 
125 milliliters of white wine. It should be pretty dry and we want that wine to give an acidic value to our risotto and we're going to cook the white wine out until it absorbs into the rice. So you can see now that the white wine has been absorbed into the rice so we're now ready to start adding the stock. You want to add the stock a ladle at a time and let this get absorbed into the rice before we add another ladle. So that first ladle of stock has been almost completely absorbed into the rice so we're now ready to add some more. And you need to stir the risotto from time to time to make sure it's not catching or burning. So I've fished out my asparagus trim. Remember the woody ends of the asparagus spears we put into the vegetable stock to get some flavour out of them. I'm now taking them out because I don't want them to be transferred into the risotto as we move our stock into the pan. So we're now going to add another ladle of the stock and eventually when we put all of our stock into our risotto it'll take a further 20 minutes the cooking process and it will be completely done. So I have added 1100 milliliters of stock so I've held back 100 milliliters of stock because I felt this was a good consistency and this still needs to cook out for a couple of minutes but from the time you start adding your stock until it's cooked is about 25 minutes in total and you want the rice to be a little al dente as the Italians would say so it's still got a tiny little bite in it. You see the risotto is nice and creamy so the first thing we're going to do is add some black pepper and some salt. Give it a good stir. Now we're going to add our sun-dried tomato pieces and again stir that in and then we're going to take all of the small pieces of asparagus we want to stir that in to the risotto and then we're going to heat up our spears to garnish it with. So we'll stir that asparagus in there. You can see it's starting to look really delicious. So now we want to start adding our grated cheese, our vegetarian cheese. And when you add the cheese to risotto, it's going to thicken it up even more, which is not a bad thing to have a little extra stock if we need to, to thin it back down. So keep turning that risotto over to make sure the cheese gets well mixed in. And then we're going to stir in our fennel leaf. And then we're going to Taste it to check the seasoning. It's looking absolutely delicious. So you can see uh, risotto looks absolutely luxurious and delicious. And we want to heat up our asparagus spears to garnish the plates with. We could do that one or several ways. We could put that in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Or if we have a little spare stock, we could just drop a few spears into the stock to heat them back up. Now the last little finishing touch to our risotto is we're going to put a tablespoon of olive oil in there which will give it a really nice sheen and again we're going to stir it and then taste it one final time. You see how shiny that is now. Wow! 
that is really really good. So we're now going to add some little finishing touches. We're going to add a couple of the cheese curls and I want to stir those in a little bit so you've got some extra texture and then we're taking some of the pea shoots and again we want to sort of squish those in a little bit so we've got some lots of different texture and then we're going to finally come with our two little asparagus spears have one going that way and one going that way enjoy our asparagus and sun-dried tomato risotto